next review on the addendum is the Zombie Tools Apocaton. An absolute beautiful, beautiful, oh, I should have. Beautiful, beautiful sword. The Kydex sheath, which is really great. Um, perfect for strapping to your side or your back. I had actually at one point strapped the Zakasushi and Apocatana Kydex um, sheath together. And to be honest, the two swords are, together are a wee bit heavy to wield like that. Um, if you're, you know, trying some um, Miyamoto Sashi type things, they're a little hard to move in conjunction because of the weight. Um, that doesn't mean, obviously, they're not katanas. They're apocalyptic style katanas that are made to cut through fucking everything. Where in a katana, hits something two, three times, and you got nicks in it like crazy. These are not like that. <laughs> this is a badass post-apocalyptic katana. Um, the apocatana change from the original is a totally redesigned handle, which I love this. I think it's much better than the original. Um, a suba that is really cool. You can tell it's hand carved there. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, but um, just a really badass just look to it. Um, great curvature of the blade. I'm not sure if you guys can tell there or not. That's okay. Great curvature of the blade. Um, just, I think, the perfect post-apocalyptic katana on the market. Uh, three pounds, seven ounces. So, uh, 40.25 inches overall, 28 inch blade. So, from a traditional katana, it's about an inch shorter on the blade and an inch longer on the handle, give or take. I personally like that. I think the balance is better because of it. The balance point on this, uh, I take that about two inches from the guard. So the balance is pretty centered. Um, obviously it's a full tang handle, which I think is a lot of it, you know what I mean? But she moves very, very well. Uh, you, you could absolutely move this with one hand, no problem. I mean, it is not um, a one-handed sword, but you could move this one hand without any issue. Just with this and the Zakasushi together, it was difficult for me. So, really badass. Just overall cool piece. Um, their traditional finish on here. Like I said, um, 40.25 inches overall, 28 inch blade, three pounds, seven ounces. Uh, traditional katanas were, well, I had an original at one time, and that was kind of outrageously like one pound, 10 ounces. But a lot of the reproductions that I've had that were really, really good ones, high end, uh, two pounds, three ounces, two pounds, six ounces. So you're about a pound more, but it makes up for, I mean, it's certainly not slow in the hand. By any means, and it makes up for it in uh, being able to chop a car door apart and still stay sharp. So, totally worth it in that regard. I mean, it just is really quick. Really, really, really quick. It's a long handle for one handed play, um, obviously. So, that's part of it. So. As you guys know, I'm not really a katana guy, but I just wanted to have the Apocatana Zek Sushi, uh, mostly so I could review them. Mostly so I could review them. Um, I just think it is, they are the perfect post-apocalyptic pieces. I really, really do. If I could figure out how to strap the two of them on my back, I just think it'd look really cool. But Together, I had them on my side, and it was just awfully heavy. Two of them together would end up being 
almost six and a half pounds on your side. So it's, like I said, half for sure. But I just want to do a quick review. Really love this piece. I'm gonna also do the Zakasushi. Um, zombie tools, price point, um, and I said in my last video, they've gone down to 13 to 16 weeks from 24 to 26. So that's huge, huge, huge. So you could um, order at the end of August and get it before Christmas. So, which I'm actually thinking about doing that for a Hellion and Vacra and possibly Legionnaire so I can review those for you guys. So that is next. So you guys know I'm much better with one-handed blades than two, but it is just a really cool piece. And it is, um, I really just can't say enough good things. They're just, they're beautiful pieces. So I appreciate you guys watching the reviews and keeping up with it. And uh, I'm in my garage now because it's really, it's like 100 degrees today. The garage probably wasn't the best idea because it's like 110 in here. But I'm sweating. So <laughs> trying to get back to my 200 weight. I'm about 220 right now and I hate it myself. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, just laziness. Just laziness. So um, like again, I said, Zombie Tools of Pakatana. Very, very, very sharp. I don't know if it'll actually cut it or not, make a liar on me. But she cuts. Paper test. You guys are in the market. These I think are at um 475, something like that. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Totally worth it. Thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you soon.